bounce back from the offensive performance you guys had last week against a, like another good defense like Stanford has? Uh, it's actually it's not too complicated. You know, you got to go back in and watch the tape. Um, be honest with yourself. What could we as coaches have done better? Um, as players, they got to take ownership too, and how they can be better. And then once you realize that, flush it, get it out of your head, and try to be the best that next day and practice hard. In the games where Oregon's been the most successful against Stanford's defense, you guys were able to get your speed into space. They really abused them in the second, third level. Is that going to be the game planning if you guys get Charles Nelson, get Tony Brooks James out in space against these guys? Sure. I mean, that's I mean that's every game really. Yeah, every game. Exactly. Especially that's. These guys have to do it. Yeah, we we you know, and they do a pretty good job. But they've done statistically. I think they're one of the better defenses, not just in the yeah. league, but in the country. But uh, we try to do that all the time, you know, because we think we've got some pretty good skill players, cool. but. But with them, is it more of a – because they've always had some speed deficiencies in certain spots where you guys were able to take more advantage of it with them than, say, a USC. Yeah, I mean, I, I, not as, I think they're they're pretty good in the back end, and they're, and they're and their guys run around and play fast and hard because um, they've played against some good offenses, and they've, they've done really well. They've done really well about uh, their front seven pressuring the quarterback. I think they're leading the league in sacks. They've done great uh, schematically and just – Playing hard, not giving up big plays, and so, you know, which is going to be a big challenge for us. Does it feel like the same same old Stanford this week, as far as just personnel that they have and, and the way they play on defense? Yeah, I mean, you know, when you play Stanford, they're going to be good on defense. That's just, they're a really good football team, but that's definitely their strength is, is their defense, and uh, they've shown that. You know, I think every week they've played, um, so it's a big challenge. Now, yeah, ever, ever since I've been here, Stanford has always came ready to play on defense. Over the, last, over the last five, six years, this has been kind of the game that decides the Pac-12 North. Do you feel any difference in this game and the hype surrounding it right now? Not really. No, no. I mean, it's no matter what game you're playing, you try to block everything else out except that football game and do the best you can to prepare. And we know we've got a great opponent ahead of us, and so we're excited for the challenge. But it's, it's not, you know, whether, you know, the records, once you play a game, that doesn't mean anything. It's all about... Hey, how can we kind of win this football game? What is different about the Sanborn team than other years? Uh, no, I mean they're they're good. I mean they're all, and they've always been good on defense. Um, I think you know they've got they've got some good some young players that are playing really well, but they've got a good mix of, uh, of veterans in there too that have some experience. And you know, like all Stanford teams, they uh, they, they create a lot of problems and you got to have answers for a lot of different things and you know which that's why they're good and we're looking forward to it what stands out about solomon thomas when you watch film um well a whole bunch of things he's he's uh he's tremendously talented he's very athletic but how hard he plays uh the way he gets off on the football um creates a lot of negative plays just by himself just beating one-on-one -on -one matchups and i wish to tribute to him is there anything you guys can do to help Royce get back to being Royce, so to speak? Ah, uh, you know, hopefully we have some good schemes where we can, you know, get him to the second level. Um, he's had a great week of practice, so I'm excited. I think he's going to have a good game this this week. Uh, you know, but it, it's what helps Royce, too, is can we throw the ball? You know, we, every, everything up, up front, are we making the right checks? So it's not just Royce. Sometimes I think when you're when you're watching uh, a game, you focus on that one player, and you know it's whether it was a no game play. There's there's a lot of other things yeah. that go into it, up front wise, and just you know how, how we're playing affects how the running game goes. I know there's no excuses, but with a freshman quarterback and four freshman linemen, is it hard to get in that rhythm that you guys are accustomed to? Uh, no, I mean it is, it is what it is. You know that, that's the thing. I I think at times we. We played really well, but there's been times we've been very inconsistent. And you know, as, as coaches, that's what we're working on. You know, how can we be more and more consistent? And it's not just one position. You know, it's whether it's the quarterback. Um, you know, identifying the right thing, which he's wise beyond his years on the stuff that he's doing. Whether it's the offensive line, maybe getting beat on a one-on-one -on -one matchup, or you know, a running back not hitting the right hole. It's, it's not. It's not just one guy. And that's what as coaches. So we try. Our challenge is: Well, how can we make it so everyone's more consistent? And we study that and try to practice that every day. Do you, you guys think that Darrington might have a Darren Carrington might have a bigger role this weekend? Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, so basically we're rotating three guys as starters on the outside with Darren, um, Chuck, and uh, Jalen Brown. And so you, you just never know going into each game. I, I think any one of those guys can have a big game. A lot of it depends on well, them, but also depends on how they play us. You know, and at the end of the day, we're more concerned about winning the football game than any individual one guy. Does he have the capability of making a lot of big plays? Yes, you know, I hope, I hope he does. Given youth up front and at quarterback, you guys know that teams are going to try and maybe mix things up a little bit in blitz packages, and, and USC did that. But you knew it was coming, you guys prepared for it. Why did Justin feel underprepared last week? Um, I, I don't, you know, what I think that when he said that, I heard he said it was more of just a fact that, first of all, we did prepare for blitzes. You know, and that's, that's one thing when you're breaking down an opponent, you look at every single blitz they've done and you practice against it. Now, the one thing that they did do, they blitzed us a little bit more than they had the previous opponents. I think that's what he was referring to. Um, you know, but again, we, we got to do a good job of handling that. You know, and a lot of those blitzes, we had guys on the right guys, but sometimes they would beat us on a one-on-one -on -one matchup. You know, and that's stuff we just got to get better at. You anticipate Stanford brings similar attack as far as just well I mean it's one of the strengths of their defenses I think they're leading the league in sacks and a lot of it's just four-man pressure they do a great job with twists and picks um, but they and have a great pressure package so again that's what we're you know we've we study all their blitzes um, and try to put them through all our different type of plays and just practice 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 you know and try to obviously learn from what we didn't do well last week and it'll be a good challenge for us but yeah that's going to be a, a good challenge Thank you. No Thanks, problem. Coach. No problem.